Today we are going to create circle infographic animation using Lightroom Motion app which can be used to show the status of loading, uploading or downloading. So let's get started with the tutorial. Click on plus button to create a new project. Change the title to infographic for the project. Select 1 as to 1 aspect ratio, resolution and frame rate you can select as according to your needs. I'm going to select 720p, 60fps and black background. Create project. Click on plus button to insert the text. Click on the text. Write 0 percent. Make the text centric. Select any font which you would like. I will be selecting Roboto bold. Increase the size of the text little bit. Click OK. The timeline for the text is 2 seconds. Let's increase it to 3 seconds. That's how long the animation will be. Select color and fill. Click on no fill. Go back. Click on border and shadow. Enable the stroke. Change the color of the stroke to orange color. The stroke thickness I'm going to keep the same. Click away, click on the plus button, insert circle, click on color and fill, select no fill, go back, click on border and shadow, enable the stroke, change the color to orange or yellow, keep the same thickness. Go to move and transform. Select the third option which is scaling. Increase the size. Because this zero is now single digit, later it is going to increase to 100. So there will be two more digits on the left hand side. So they should fit inside the circle. Therefore, let's increase the size of this circle. This much is okay, I think. Later we can change it in case the text is not fitting inside. Select the circle layer. We will increase the timeline of that layer, same as our text. There, near to the clock icon, there are two options. One is extend the layer timeline or shift the layer timeline to the third second but we don't want to shift it we want to extend it so click on the first option near to the clock icon it will extend it so now we have both of them same from 0 to 3 seconds now let's add different effects to these layers or these elements first select the circle go to the effects click on add effect First effect we want to add is glow, which is under drawing and edge. Click on drawing and edge, click on glow, select the standard settings. Then keep the radius default 100, change the alpha value to 40, around 40%. 40 yeah, then decrease the hardness also a little bit to 37, change color to the same color as stroke click away to see how it looks it looks fine again select the circle go to the effects click on add effect go to color and light under that there is a exposure for gamma effect select the standard settings expand exposure and gamma increase the exposure so it looks brighter So point, point 0.5 to the one which I want, yeah. Click away, this looks now better. Select the circle once again, go to the effects, add effect, click on drawing and edge, select drawing progress, click on standard settings. Expand the drawing progress, 
select end add a keyframe for the end reduce it to zero so in the beginning there will be no circle and then as the time goes forward it will start drawing the circle around our text go to the third second increase the end value now so automatically the keyframe will be added for the end option and it will animate between these two keyframes automatically now select the circle go to the effects click on the three dots copy the effects go back select the text click on the effects click on the three dots paste the effects we want glow and exposure but not the drawing progress for the text we want a countdown effect so go to the add effect for the text layer scroll down at the end is the text effect and inside there is a count up or down Select the standard settings, expand count up and down effect, add a keyframe for the add option or add tab. In the beginning it will be 0. Go to the end of the timeline of this layer that is third second. Increase the value for the add 200. Go to the beginning, play the animation. Looks perfect. So now at the zero second, we can see the text. So to make it not visible from the beginning, just shift both of them by let's say a few seconds. What should be around the same timing which is 0 30 so move it select and move now play the animation it's done so if you like this video or this tutorial then please like my video subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching stay safe and stay healthy